The reality that we live in is participatory. That means that the universe is always reacting to our thoughts, our intentions, our energy, our desires, and our frequency. Today we're going to get some context about the laws that govern the universe so that we can harness these laws and this energy to live our lives in the most magical ways possible. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Lior Alexandra. Welcome to the Baby Elephant community. On this channel, we talk about the law of attraction, spirituality, self-development, and today we talk about physics. So that's a thing. So the other day I tweeted out a question. I couldn't really find the tweet, but it was something along the lines of, you know that feeling you get when you become super present in the present moment and you start to realize that you can control your reality and make whatever you want happen. So you're in this present moment and you realize that your mind can create what's about to happen in the future in the next present moment. Now, when I tweeted that, there were a lot of questions about this concept and it, I guess it's a little bit more elusive than I expected and people were asking me to expand on it. So what I had to do is I had to start researching this because I thought, you know, the way that I'm thinking to me is very natural, but maybe there's a way to explain this process of thought so that people who have still not grasped this idea of becoming present in order to affect our reality and to make whatever we want happen so that you can follow it in a practical and pragmatic way. What I ended up following, I followed this path that took me to the craziest place, blew my mind, expanded my consciousness, and I got the answer that I was looking for. Because when you set your intention with the universe like I did, I set an intention to gain more clarity on the subject so that I can explain it and teach it. And I received the knowledge that I've honestly been looking for. So I now understand this power that I'm talking about to a whole other level and I believe I can explain it in a way that you can take it and use it in your practical way to actually fully change your life using quantum physics. So the power to create anything that we want is real and this is being backed up by our quantum physicists. And I won't pretend to be an expert on the field, I'm not even a student of it. I just know what I study and I'm really, really interested in quantum mechanics and quantum physics. It's a very, very interesting topic to me and I know that there's a lot of pseudoscience that goes into this that we learn online. So I really sat my ass down and I studied and I learned and this is what I was able to conceptualize and I'm hoping that I can convey it in the most simple terms because I really had to simplify it down for myself to be able to even speak about it because it was really complicated for me. So let's go down the rabbit hole of physics. So since the late 1600s, 17th century, we have been the world at large, but largely the West, but the East as well. We've been living and interacting with our world based on a Newtonian physics model. Now this model is a reflection correspondence view of knowledge. Under this model, we have determinism, materialism, separatism, and reductionism, which this basically means that we take anything that is physical and material to be how the universe really is. And if we can't see it, if we can't replicate it in a lab, if we can't observe it, then it's not real. It's basically that only material is in actuality in this universe. So we see it, we observe it, we reduce it to its simplest form, and it only exists if we can touch it or if we can conceptualize it. However, since I think the 1900s, we have started to accept the theory of quantum mechanics, which is a whole new way. It's completely opposite from the Newtonian model. So while we know that quantum physics is the best way, the best method we have to explain how our reality works right now, we still as a society, as a species, live in the Newtonian model. This is, this creates a lot of disharmony in the way that we live our lives because our beliefs no longer align with how reality actually exists. So when studying this concept now, it makes so much sense to me because it'll, it aligns with this consciousness shift that New Age is always talking about. We're talking about how we are expanding as a consciousness, as a collective consciousness, awakening and living our lives differently with more cosmic energy. And this explains that. You 
see the shift that all these spiritual thought leaders are always talking about is in essence a shift from living our lives based on the Newtonian model to living our lives based on quantum mechanics. We are moving from the old paradigm of understanding everything at a physical material level to understanding things in the quantum realm of infinite possibilities. The quantum mechanics model of explaining our universe is much more successful and is now the accepted way to look at physics rather than the Newtonian model. So our mission right now as a collective consciousness is to start living our lives understanding and living and working with the quantum realm rather than living it solely in the physical three-dimensional realm. Quantum mechanics is conscious, it's contextual, and it's connected. It's the exact opposite of the Newtonian model. In the quantum realm, we experience infinite possibilities. So through my own awakening, I shifted from the Newtonian model to the quantum model almost seamlessly overnight. And that's truly what an awakening is. It's an understanding of our universe through new eyes, through a new paradigm. When I woke up one day with this new understanding of reality, I was suddenly able to conceptualize the idea that the future is not determinable based simply on the past. Before my awakening, it very much seemed to me that I know what's going to happen in the future of this planet, of this world, based on, you know, the Newtonian model of thinking whatever material is real. This is all lacking spirit. There's a new baby in my building and he's crying and I'm really sorry if you hear him in the background, but let's just send him love. So with my quantum eyes, I started to see things differently. And this is our responsibility. This is where our journey begins. We are becoming quantum beings, quantum galactic beings. So I began to understand that there is zero certainty in this world. Even the certainty that we've been taught that you're born and you die is not certain because Birth and death are not as black and white as we always thought they were. There's no beginning, there's no end. Energy is never created nor destroyed, it just continues. We enter this world through a birth and we leave this world through a death, but we continue on. Things could be completely different tomorrow. Just as I slipped into a whole new way of thinking overnight, life can be completely different tomorrow you wake up and things are completely different and the thing that's really interesting to me is there is a possibility that we would not even be able to be able to realize this change think about this for a second and this is going to be kind of a difficult thing to wrap your mind around but what if yesterday people didn't walk people crawled and that was what our world was like and i'm saying this not as just like a what if, but what if it is a what if, but think of, think of this as a fact. Yesterday we crawled, today we walk, but our collective consciousness changed. So we believe that we always walked, even though we didn't really in physical reality. That is kind of this quantum way of thinking that there's an infinite realm of possibilities and that anything that can happen does happen and has happened and is happening. What if tomorrow it's normal for us to fly, but we don't have this change in our minds where we're like, oh, we suddenly fly. We just always have flied because time is not even linear. I know I'm getting like on a tangent over here, but this is how I look at things. And it really changed up my solid thinking of reality, the Newtonian way that I was looking at things, like things are this way because they're physical in this way. There is an uncertainty principle and this uncertainty principle basically states that anything can happen and anything is happening. And this is where, this is the concept that I wanted to relay on to you from the beginning of the video, the uncertainty principle, and let me explain why. This principle basically states that frequency and energy are inversely related to time and this when explored further explains why we can control and create anything in the present moment because when we are in the now 
When time becomes precise, when we are here and now, here, wherever you are, for a second, take a moment to feel the nowness of your present moment. Become mindful of where you are, feel your body in this present moment, smell what's around you, look at what's around you, hear what's around you, be here. In this moment, we suddenly have access to all the available energy, infinite energy. We suddenly have access to infinite energetic potentiality. And this is quantum mechanics. Basically, when you're in the present moment, it's all possible. Anything you want to create with your mind is possible. Now, this might seem like a big concept, but it is something that we use in law of attraction all the time. It is something that you use on your day-to-day -day basis in a very practical way. For example, this morning, I realized that I left my park overnight somewhere where I would usually get towed. I got very present and I imagined my car over there without even a warning. That is manifesting, that's law of attraction. But why is it possible that I actually ended up manifesting my car still there, no ticket, no warning, nothing? It's because I tapped into the now. And in the now, there is infinite energetic potentiality. So we can choose, subtly choose any one of these realities and go for there. If I decided to really test myself out and to be sadistic and to say, you know, my car is not going to be there, I could have made that happen as well. So the entire premise behind this video is to remind you that the more mindful that you become, the more present you are, the more you start creating from the present moment, the more creative control you have over your reality. Expand your mind and use your thoughts and words to tap to the infinite possibilities and the energies of the present moment and create through that space. Our quantum physicists have proven that our energy, our intention, our vibration creates and shapes the way we experience this world. We live in a participatory universe. Our intentions, our words, our actions, everything that we do, our world starts to play out and unfold uncertainly around that. So where we are from our point of attraction is being manifested through all those things, through that infinite energetic possibility. So the more present you are, the more control you have over your reality. And what I find more interesting than anything, than any of this, is that Abraham Hicks was talking about this years and years before it was in the public knowledge of acceptance, before we all knew that this is how life works, that this is physics. All these, you know, Bashar was talking about this. All these channeled messages were all talking about this. Seth, the Seth material, all this information that's, that was seen as esoteric is coming out to be proven by science to be factual. What's tomorrow going to hold? There are infinite possibilities when we live in the realm of quantum, the quantum realm. It starts with our intention and with opening up. And that's what we do on this channel. And that's what we'll, we will continue to do. Thank you for bearing through this. I hope it was enjoyable in a sense and that it didn't feel like a lecture in school. Um, if you have some points that you want to make, please leave them in the comments below. I learn from you just like you learn from me. I really enjoyed this topic and I'm going to be doing so much more research on it. So expect more videos on it and if you like that give it a thumbs up say yes to a new paradigm a new quantum reality being quantum galactic beings thumbs up this video share this information if it resonated with you because it helps the channel so much i love you i appreciate you thank you for spending some time with me and until my next video as always it's very important very crucial for creating your reality keep your vibrations way 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 up